Hey, what's up guys? Cthulhu here. Got something a little different for you today. I get asked quite a bit about graphic settings for DayZ, so I thought I'd make a tutorial and show you guys my settings. Hopefully it'll help some of you out in being able to spot players in the distance that you wouldn't normally see with the default settings. I'm going to use regular armor 2 at the moment because I'm using the editor, uh, but everything I show you here can be used in regular DayZ. Okay, let's get going. Okay, so I've set up a little mission here in the editor. Um, it's I'm using the same settings, view distance as uh, DayZ. It's, I think it's 1600 or something it's set to. Um, we're using Starry as the backdrop for this. Uh, I'm not going to show you because I've got five snipers actually looking at my position. And I want to see if you guys can actually spot them um, when we get into the mission. And I'm going to show you the difference in how setting the graphic settings the way I have them and in low making the game look as crap as possible actually lets you see things. So uh, yeah, we'll show you now. Okay, so as you can see, I'm on the south hill of Starry. This would be, you'd be approaching from Cherna from that direction. Um, as you can see, the game, I'm sure it looks nice. Um, it's all, I don't know. I think this looks horrible. I don't know what they were thinking about all the blurry shit and post-processing and stuff. But this is how a lot of you would have got the game. Uh, if you had a high-end machine, it would have looked like this. Um, I know a lot of the lower end machines mightn't be able to look as nice and have as much detail in it, but um, yeah, this is what it would have looked like. Uh, so yeah, okay, there's five snipers looking at us right now. Uh, I know exactly where they are, but um, let's see if you guys can see them. You can't really see them like that. Um, I'm going to zoom in like this. So can we see any? This is, like you'd be moving, coming down from Cherna like this, okay? Trying to see if the snipers in the hills watching over. Um, can you see any? Okay, maybe a guy there. See him right in the center. Crosshair's aiming at him. Okay, he's the most visible. Because he's, you can sort of see, but you might miss that. Like, guys, so you'd be surprised if you're running down through the bushes and... Yeah, well, he's kind of visible. Okay, he's fine. That's one down. Let me see the rest. Um, no, it's kind of hard, okay? I'm just going to pause it here a sec. Get out of my gun. Okay, in this screen there's four snipers looking at us. Okay. Uh, give me the gun. Here's a guy. I see you mightn't see him. You can kind of see there's something there maybe, but... Yeah, you, you just pass that off usually. Um, here's a guy. Now, you wouldn't notice that at all. Like, maybe if you were sitting looking for ages, but you can kind of see... Nah. And here's another guy, up behind him. Now you can't see him at all. So you'd miss him, he'd shoot you in your face. And then, probably the most hidden guy is... In here. Where are you gone, you bastard? I think he's behind this rock here, this tree here. Yeah, he's behind that tree. And see, you can't see him at all. Like, he's... He could probably see you, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, so, it's kind of... Like, I'm sure it looks nice and stuff, and but... no, nah, this is not how I can play the game. So I'm going to show you now, just by disabling a few different graphic settings and changing a few bits, how you'll be able to see all these guys perfectly easy. So go to your options, video options, advanced... Okay, so you can see everything's pretty much on very high, high sort of max. Like, I can run this. I'm getting 40 frames per second now recording, so it's fine. Um, so texture detail, I just leave that at very high because it's it, textures are just nice. It doesn't really make a difference. Video memory, most guys think, yeah, I'll throw it in very high because I have a 3 gig graphics card or whatever. But that actually, I'm pretty sure the Armour 2 engine only uses 1 gig max if you throw it on very high. So we'll set that at default. Um, anti filtering, 
it's I just leave it on normal. Um, it gives me the best frames. You can sure you can lash it up high, very high. It doesn't really make a difference to be honest. Disable it, not not a huge difference. So I just leave that on normal. Idealizing just whatever your machine can handle really. Uh, I always just leave it on normal. It gives me the best frames. Atoc, okay. Um, this came in in a not a recent patch or it was a beta patch a few months ago. Um, you can disable trees and stuff like that, and have different types of trees showing up or I don't know what I don't know why it's there but it should just be what you do is you disable it straight away okay and I'm going to show you how you can see one of the snipers now and probably the most hidden one he's behind the bushes there there he is so you couldn't see him at all now with that enabled so I'd run up and even now I can kind of see there's something a bit dodgy going on behind that tree Okay, so I'm going to enable that again and show you how you can, you can't see the guy. So all trees and grass, that's usually what it's defaulted to. Now, you can't see him. I know where he is, but yeah, he's behind here. But you can't see him at all. Yeah, maybe a bit of colour, but yeah. You want to disable ATOC. So we're going to disable that again. So now we can see that guy pretty clearly. Um... What a guy up here. It doesn't really... Maybe the guy up here you might see a bit more clear, but it doesn't really make a difference. Um, terrain detail, I just leave it on very high, or whatever your machine can handle. It doesn't doesn't make much of a difference as you change it, as you see. It's... Um, yeah, it's not too important. Object detail, I have this on very low. And the reason I have this on very low is around helicopter crash sites. Um... You'll come up to them. Sometimes you might miss some things. If you have that on very low, uh, the grass is like you don't. There's much grass around, so you can actually see if there's a pair of MVGs or something hidden around the crash site, which is really handy. Uh, you can turn it on very high if you want to see, like, a, if a building is glitching at range. Um, I know the fire station sometimes you actually can't see through the windows. It just looks like a solid texture. If you throw the object detail and very high you'll actually see through it so um as you would as the fire station would normally look so that's kind of handy but i always have that in very low shadow detail i always disable it you don't want shadows um shadows enable little sniper fuckers like me to uh hide um like a ghillie suit might be you can hide in the shadow of a bush say down here um it'll be harder to see but if it isn't there, there's nothing, no black, you know, shadow around him. So he's a bit more visible. Um, HDR quality, I just leave on normal. Uh, it's not a huge, it's not a huge changer. PPAA, I've never, it's always been disabled. The big ones are these two. 3D resolution. Interface resolution is, I think, the, these, uh, the menus and stuff. But 3D resolution is the big one, okay? Um, I'm not sure what it'll be on your machine um, when you first launch the game or what it is now, but you got to throw it at your native TV's resolution or monitor's resolution. So I have a 1080p TV right now that I'm playing it on, so I'm going to set it to 1080p. The game is clear. Clearer, it's not fully clear yet because post-processing is still on, but it's a lot clearer. So we change it back to 88%. See how blurry that is? I'm sure it can get worse, maybe. Yeah, like that is, it's just so blurry. You just want it as clear as possible so you can see guys. Um, so that's like a huge, huge change. And then, yeah, post-processing effects. I'm sure they look nice and all, but disable that shit. And look at that. It is so clear. It looks terrible, yeah, whatever. But you see guys, and that's how I'm able to see guys from miles away. So we disable that. V-Sync, I have always have it disa disabled so I can get more than 60 FPS at times. Um, so yeah, actually, I started this tutorial and I was getting 40 frames per second recording. Now I'm getting 75 frames recording. So it helps with improving performance, but it also, you know, helps you see guys. So it's a lot better. So now we'll actually see if we can find our snipers. So we're arriving down from Cherno. Looking around, 
Always keep moving because you'll get shot in your face. Now there you go, that guy is completely visible. You can see him as clear as day. Because the object detail is down very low, that rock doesn't render in. So that's why he's visible. Um, our guy behind the tree stump there, you can see him a lot more now. So you can see there's sort of something, if I move around you can see something like, I don't know, a glint of a sniper scope or something, but you can see there's something behind that tree. Okay, see our boy beside the electrical box up there? You can see a little head sticking out of the ground. That's him dead. Um, and then probably the hardest one is up behind him, but you can see there's something up there. Um, it's not like it. I don't. I don't know how to describe it. It's how I see players and how I'm able to know guys are around. Um, but you can see there is something up there in that tree tree line. There he is. There's that guy dead. Um, and then yeah, our boy here at the left. He's completely visible. So it really, really, really helps you. I recommend you change to if your computer can't handle. Um, 1080p, just throw it to whatever your computer's resolution is and it'll it'll be a lot better for you and you'll be able to see stuff really, really clearly. But we all know in DayZ, like this, in our, on our server at the moment, it's just this place is covered in fog and raining and stuff. So uh, you wouldn't be able to see guys anyway. But on a nice clear day, on a nice server, um, you'd come into Starry and you'd see there's five dudes looking at you from all different angles. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. Hopefully it'll help a few of you being able to spot some guys, and you won't get killed not knowing where the bullets have come from. If you enjoyed it, remember to give it a like, and if you have any questions or comments, leave them below and I'll get back to you. If you're new to my channel, check out some of my previous videos, and subscribe for more in the future. Cheers guys, see you next time.